Welcome to the launch premiere for the District 7 Boys to Men Initiative, sponsored by the My Brother's Keeper Family Challenge Grant and Community School District 7. In today's show, you're going to hear from community leaders, Boys to Men facilitators, elected officials, and most importantly, from our young brown and black boys of color as they embrace their unlimited potential to make a positive change on our local and global community. We hope that you enjoy the show. Boss, being a real soldier, you already know. Every day we wake up, it's a battle between doing what's right and what's wrong. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys and men, we like an elevator, elevator, so we bless with favor. What we cooking up, you can smell the flavor. And our vision sharp like a missile laser, so we asking questions like investigators. Leave them gas with no respirators. We don't try to stop, we on our best behavior. So we gon' keep it clean like a best You'll only get your education through hard work and dedication. Meditation, setting goals and definitely some destination. It's time for your elevation. You studied and display patience. You're leading to the top, got no time for no hesitation. So we gon' add while they subtracting, like multiplying with fractions. We ordered our operations, now we're ready for action. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we fly, we turn it up. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we hot, we burning up. Now we're praying for a smooth transition, no time for crashing now. Heading all the way to the top to get our cap and gown. Put the Bronx right on our back, no time for dropping now. Pushing all the way to the top, no breaks or stopping now. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we're learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys and men, boys and men. Yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we're learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. And now, a word from our superintendent, Mr. Rafael T. Alvarez. Welcome to our inaugural District 7 Boys to Men kickoff under the My Brother's Keeper New York State Grant. It is my privilege and honor to be here as your superintendent and proud Latino. I wanna start off by honoring my mother and father who are looking down upon me proudly. I wanna thank them because regardless of the challenges we faced, they regarded education as a number one priority. See, neither of my parents went to college. My father passed when I was very young and my mother suffered from a terminal illness. But her courage to stand up to the disease and her commitment to ensure that I learned to persevere no matter what the situation was, is why I have built a sense of confidence and determination to always finish what I start, regardless of how hard it becomes. President Barack Obama said, in too many communities, too many young men of color are left behind and seen only as objects of fear. Through initiatives like My Brother's Keeper, I am proudly personally committed to changing both perception and reality. Well, as superintendent, I want you to know I show up every day with a sense of purpose and, an, and I accept President Obama's challenge. My purpose is simple, provide you with the opportunities to be successful in life. I have figured out a long time ago that if your why is strong enough, you will figure out your how. So I wanna spend a few minutes here talking about my why. See, my why is with deep conviction. 
I was a child who faced many challenges and exposed to multiple levels of trauma in East New York, Brooklyn, with a single parent who was terminally ill, which means she was dying very slowly. It was people like Kathleen Garibaldi, who was my second grade teacher and my first principal as a teacher. It was people like Judith Esposito, my fourth grade teacher, who saw something in me when I actually did not see myself. I am sure many of you already know someone like that in your school community, and you will probably get to know someone as you continue your education. My why is because I constantly am reminded that when we give our kids the most, we provide them the opportunity to succeed, much like me. See, I am you. I am a product of a community just like you. I am my brother's keeper. And my responsibility as superintendent is to create an environment that lets you be your best self while also providing you with opportunities to successfully grow and develop in every way from a boy to a young man. So when you go back to your schools virtually or in person, I challenge you to reflect and remember your why and think about what your legacy will be and how you will pay it forward to another one of your brothers. Remember that individually, we will make small strides but collectively, we make great kings. So in closing, our previous first lady, Michelle Obama said, success isn't about how much money you make. It's about the differences you make in people's lives. So it is my honor to welcome you today to your new beginning as we start the year 2021 and we press the restart button that you see yourself having value and that you collectively you add value to our community, our borough, our city, our state, our country, and ultimately our world. Because remember, you are also my brother's keeper.
District 7 is proud to present our borough president, Mr. Ruben Diaz Jr. What's up, y'all? This is Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. Just wanted to shout out Deputy Dr. Hernandez, as well as my man, Hakeem, for putting this initiative together as part of the My Brother's Keeper initiative and, and creating this Boys to Men. Uh, to all of you young fellas, all you young men who are out there who've taken and accepted this challenge, let me just say thank you. I, I'm a, a Puerto Rican, Latino, Boricua, from the South Bronx, born in Morehouses, went to PS5, PS31, and Clark Junior High School 149 on Willis Avenue, all in District 7. So I'm just like all of you. I, at the tender age of 22, I decided to run for the New York State Assembly because I felt that not enough of us were being represented in government. But uh, being part of Boys to Men, it introduces you into the civic arena. And you're needed now more than ever. For the fact is that you all know better than I do that uh, fast forward, we still have this, this vicious cycle of criminal justice um, that uh, uh, where many of our young black men find themselves behind bars, where many of them uh, engage in gang activity, where not enough of us are being educated in, in uh, universities, not enough investment or opportunities for jobs and careers. Aren't you sick of that? I know I was. But as I start to leave the stage as the borough president, I know that the Bronx is in good hands. This initiative is preparing you with the foundation that you need so that you could be that army of the next generation to take us to the promised land that Dr. King um, so eloquently spoke of. So congratulations, go out there, educate yourselves, absorb, and, and take the world by storm. We need you, we appreciate you, we respect you. And we, we expect great things from all of you. So congratulations. And after this whole COVID thing is done, I hope that I can meet and see all of you guys and chop it up on a personal level, one-on-one, -on -one, or in a group setting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. And again, Dr. Deputy uh, Hernandez, as well as Hakeem, keep up the good work. Peace, y'all. Stay strong. Strong, strong. This is Mr. Garcia, your physical education teacher here at PS49, and this is my Brother's Keeper District 7 mission statement. Our mission is to develop conscious, civic-minded, independent, successful, global citizens of the 21st century. I am. Hi everyone, I'm the STEM teacher at PS49. My Brother's Keeper District 7 mission is to ensure our students are at the forefront of our work. I am... Hello everyone, Mr. Benson here, your physical education teacher at PS49. I am... I am Ms. Maldonado, fifth grade paraprofessional, promoting equity and diversity. I am... The purpose of the PS49 Boys to Men program is to provide a brotherhood grounded on integrity, accountability, trustworthiness, and dedication to the pursuit of greater knowledge. I'm Mr. Sosa, your parent coordinator, and I am my brother's keeper. 
Hola, ¿cómo están? Me llamo de nuevo Miranda, estoy en el grupo de Boys to Men y estoy feliz por estar en el grupo. Y va a haber paseo, va a haber muchas cosas. Y estas son cosas que nos van a enseñar para nosotros los varones. Y le doy gracias a Dios y a mi escuela porque ellos son los que me ayudan a mí en la buena y en la mala. Y que también... Y que también yo tengo un profesor bueno al lado mío y que siempre está conmigo, me ayuda. Cuando yo tengo problemas, él me resuelve. Y esas son cosas que yo le doy gracias a Dios. Bye. Adiós. In support of the Voice to Men initiative, we have our first cohort of schools that have put together videos representing their young men in action. This is PS1. PSMS 5 PS 18 PS 25 PSMS 29 and PS 30. And now a keynote address from our assemblyman, Mr. Michael Blake. What's going on, boys to men? This is Michael Blake. I know your journey, and that's why I want to start by saying that I'm proud of you. I'm a kid from Creston and Burnside. Went to PS79, 118, Dewey Clinton. Son of immigrants, family from Jamaica. And was able to overcome the challenges of selling dinners on Saturday afternoon so we could pay rent or being born with a heart murmur or a near fatal car accident at my freshman year of college at Northwestern University, all those things to be able to then have a chance to go work for President Barack Obama. Regardless of the age, it allowed me the opportunities to show what could be possible from the White House all the way to the State House for three terms in the Assembly. I was a vice chair for the Democratic National Committee. Life has been blessed, but I'm coming to you first to say that I'm proud of you because I am you and you are me. If you're a young brother of color from the Bronx, you will make it. I don't want you to think that it's possible. I want you to know it's probable. So when we talk about boys to men, that's that elevation that's about to happen for you. It may take a few years, may take some time, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Your destiny will not be denied. Leadership, scholarship, citizenship, and character, all those things are needed, especially now. We need for you to lead because you're going to be in scenarios where there's a lot of people around you that are saying that you should be doing things. But the question is, what will you do to lead them? You know, I think about how I had to help organize different pieces of legislation, including the My Brothers Keeper Bill in New York in the State Assembly. A lot of people may not have seen the vision. But if you lead them and show them what's possible, things will happen. Scholarship, yo, let's be real clear. I understand you could be joined times, whether it be on IG Live or Facebook or Twitter, wherever you may be. But at the end of the day, I need for you to go to school and to graduate from school and demonstrate the importance of scholarship because things change depending on how you do. I went to Northwestern University, as I mentioned. People treat me differently because I graduated from the best journalism school in the country. There's a different vibe that happens. And I want you to understand that they may see your name and your resume and your education status before they see your face. Citizenship. Are you going to be in the game? Are you going to say to your fellow New Yorkers, your fellow Bronxites, that it matters who we are? I want people to have that vibe about you that knows that you are caring about your people. Think about Dean Ice and Club Quarantine. All day, every day, people can think about the Bronx. 
and see something as special because of D-Nice, Boogie Down Productions, and understand, you know what? Something great happens from the Bronx, but that means you have to serve your communities. I know someone may say that you are young and you are a boy and you are younger than others. However, that does not deny your greatness. You can be out here, you can be volunteering, you can give back. Because I made a decision when I was interning in 2005, interning while I had a full-time job, I gave back at a state senator's office named Jeff Schoenberg in Illinois. A woman walked in, she said, if you don't help me, I'm gonna lose my home. Helping her allowed for me to get into the training program for Barack Obama and the rest was history. And character, character matters right now, everybody. My brothers and young sisters, think about this collectively. We're watching right now the pains of what happens when people don't believe that black and brown people should be here. But the question is, will, will you have the character to step up in those challenging moments? Tired moments find me a delightful treat. Our sorrow, shrine of understanding. That's what I say as my uh, brother, I'll file for attorney incorporated, but regardless of where you may come from, it's that question of character. How will you define yourself when there's noise? How will you define yourself when there's a challenge? I always say there has to be a test before the testimony. There has to be pain before promise. So to my fellow guests that are doing their thing, to Dr. Edmonds, who I know you have been crushing the game in so many ways, respect to you, my brother. To Marco Solis, thank you for being a great reporter and giving back in so many ways. Of course, to my dear brother, Dr. Frank Hernandez, who have been a blessing to me and my family as I have been for yours. And of course, Superintendent Alvarez, you have been doing incredible things throughout the district. I want for the young brothers to understand that there is something special happening in your lives. 2021, 100 years since Greenwood. You're wondering what was Greenwood? That's when people burned down what happened in the Greenwood massacre in Tulsa where they thought that black businesses couldn't prosper. We've seen the, the, the challenges, the heartache, all that's been going on in our communities whether it be what happened at the Capitol with the riot, whether it be the disrespect among Latinos where people are saying they want to build a racist wall, whether it be people talking about uh, at the airports and going against our Muslim sister brothers, maybe it's the disrespect on Black Lives Matter, but I want you to know that you matter. We believe in you. I want you to think about the first advice that was given to me by then Senator Obama. He said, Michael, dream big dreams. That's what I want. But more importantly, to everybody in District 7, for boys to men, I want you to realize your big dreams. Show them what's possible. Show them that you're not stopping right now. So if a young kid could go from Crescent and Burnside to the White House to the State House, I have no doubt of all the things that you can do from District 7. Show them that you may be a young man right now, but you're going to be a great man. I close by saying this. I started by saying thank you. Thank you for what you're going to be doing. Thank you for living out the words that come in my favorite scripture, Romans 8, 18, for I reckon that the present sufferings are not worthy to be compared to the future glory about to be revealed to us. What's about to be revealed is the greatness that comes from boys to men. So you are going to demonstrate what happens by achieving these characters. We invite you to learn about the vision of My Brother's Keeper. We invite you to learn about the vision of what's going on in the country. We invite you to be in the game, the game of life. So from my family to yours, I say thank you, grateful for you, proud of you. And as always, in the honor of the words of the great philosopher, Fat Joe, nothing can stop you. You're all the way up. Much love. Boys to men. Congratulations. Let's make things happen in 2021 and beyond. Thank you. We hope that you enjoy this music selection from PS1, The Cortland School. We're not throwing away our shop. We're not throwing away our shop. To be a citizen with scholarship, leadership, character. We're not throwing away our shot. We're not throwing away our shot.
when not throwing away our shot. Good citizens, officers, leadership and character, are not throwing away our shot. We are not throwing away our shot. We are not throwing away our shot. To be a citizen, leadership, leadership and character, we are not throwing away our shot. We're not throwing away our shot. We're not throwing away our shot. So be a citizen with scholarship, leadership, character. We're not throwing away our shot. We're not throwing away our shot. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Adrian Valdez from PSMS 31, our student speaker on leadership. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adrian Valdez, and I'm an eighth grade student from PSMS 31, the William Lloyd Garrison School, and I'm here to speak on our guiding principle of leadership. Legendary NFL coach Vince Lombardi once said, leaders are made, they are not born. They are made by hard effort, which is a price we must all pay to achieve any goal that is worthwhile. We, the Boys to Men chapter at PS Number 31, will dedicate ourselves that, to understanding the value of hard effort and how it translates to all aspects of our lives. We will carry this hard effort into how we conduct ourselves as student leaders in our school and community. Through our empowerment, mentorship, and community service, we pledge to be students that will lead by example, not only for our school, but for our community as a whole. We as student leaders look at public figures from the Bronx, such as U.S. Representative Jamal Bowman, former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell, and Assembly Member Michael Blake as not only positive role models of color, but as people from our native Bronx who understand the value of hard effort to become the great leaders they are today. We also look at our other local heroes, such as Superintendent Alvarez, who is leading our school district through the unprecedented times. Along with essential workers, at our local hospitals and stores, as we acknowledge these prominent leaders and figures, we are reminded as a youth leaders that we must rise to the challenge of the task that's been set before us as we live through COVID-19 pandemic. Remote learning and the turmoil that is taking place in our country at the national level. We, the Boys to Men chapter at PSM and Third will continuously devote ourselves to our guiding principle of leadership. Like those who have came before us and worked hard and put effort into everything they did, it is our hope that you, our boys to men peers at through this, throughout District 7, will take this journey to leadership with us. As we become the next generation of role models that will work to create change in our school, our community, and our lives. And remember, just because we have to work hard to become a leader does not mean we can play hard too. Have fun and be the leader you believe yourself to be and have a good day. Please welcome our next cohort of Boys to Men chapters. This is PSMS 31. PS 43. PS 49. Five MS one five one and PS one fifty four. Special motivational speech from Marcos Solis. Hi everyone, my name is Marcos Solis and I'm happy to be here with you for the kickoff of this Boys to Men initiative. For many years I've been a reporter at Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well Bill and Liz, these are the types of public exposures, interactions that health officials have been looking to trace. It's a great job. I go all over the city, to New Jersey, Connecticut, covering all types of stories. There can be breaking news like fires and floods and storms or serious issues like politics and education. There's some fun assignments like going to the World Series or dangerous ones like covering riots. 
I've been to the White House, traveled to other countries, I've been on helicopters, ships, even inside a cave. I've interviewed governors and mayors, celebrities, and yes, criminals. Not every day is exciting, but it really is something different every day. No matter what the story is, my job is the same, to take a lot of information, boil it down, to tell the viewers who aren't there about what's happening. When I was your age, I didn't think I'd be on TV, broadcasting to thousands of people every day. But I did know I wanted something more. I grew up in the Bronx, in the projects, the Gun Hill houses, and we didn't have much. I became aware of this more as I got older. When I got to high school, I met kids who lived in nice houses and went on great vacations and had all the things that young people think are so important. The latest video games or the freshest sneakers. We didn't have cell phones back then, so we didn't have to worry about that. It made me work harder. I was lucky because my mom and dad pushed me to work hard, but they also encouraged me. Maybe your situation is different. Maybe you think no one cares. But the reality is there are people who are trying to help you and do want you to succeed. That's the point of this project. Teachers and leaders in the community have put this together to try and best prepare you, not only for success in school, but in life. I wish there was a magic formula that I could just tell you if you did this, great things will happen. It's not that simple. It never is. Sometimes people say he makes it look easy or she makes it look easy. That's an acknowledgement that whatever it is, isn't easy. Take your favorite athlete, singer, actor. They've risen to the top of their field, not just because they're good at something, but because they've worked the hardest. Sure, LeBron James makes it look easy, but what you don't see are the hours of hard work he puts in. For me, I did work hard in school. One thing I like to emphasize is that the ability to write well is a skill that's important for any student in all subjects. In my line of work, journalism, strong writing skills are crucial. I went to Syracuse University for college on a partial scholarship, but I had to take out student loans. I was betting on myself that it would be worth it, and it took me 10 years to pay that money back, but that pushed me to work harder. You don't start at the top either. To get better at reporting, my first job was in a small town in West Virginia for very little money. Can you imagine what it was like telling people down there, you're Puerto Rican and you're from the Bronx? The crazy thing is I saw a lot of poverty there too and some of the same struggles, young people who feel like they don't have many opportunities. It, make me, it made me work hard. I didn't do it alone, of course. I had people I turned to for advice, and that's what I hope you do too. I see the guiding principles of Boys to Men are leadership, scholarship, citizenship, and character. Those build upon each other. The fact that you're getting good grades and applied to be part of this shows leadership and scholarship skills. You're the type of young men who will be good citizens and demonstrate good character. You should be proud and excited to take on new challenges in the years ahead. And be ready to work hard so that one day people will say, you make it look so easy.
basement Why we got don't erase it Why the feel for the need to replace me You're on the runway track from the good I only painted a picture Tell it where we could be at Like the heart in a dash where it should You done gave it away You had it till you took your pen But I keep walking on Keep open doors Keep open forward That the call is yours Keep those on hold Cause I don't wanna live in a broken home Girl I'm back Our boys to men chapters from PS49 and PS369 speaking about character. I think about others before I think of myself. I am boys to men. I leave places better than how I found them. I am boys to men. I love to help others. I am boys to men. I give more than what I take. I am boys to men. I do the right thing when no one's watching. I am boys to men. I show patience and consider other people's feelings. I am boys to men. When I get upset, I know how to express myself in a respectful way. I am boys to men. I have learned the power and importance of forgiveness. I am boys to men. I think before I speak and understand the power of words, I am boys to men. I am generous. I am boys to men. I treat people the way I would like to be treated. I am boys to men. I am a king, and I am determined for greatness. I am boys to men. I am my brother's keeper. I pledge to live a life of self-determination. I pledge to embody integrity, honor, and self-respect. And I pledge to persevere in the face of adversity. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we learn it, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys to Men is going to really like help us out, not only here, but just in middle, school, but in middle school and high school. And we're also going to teach us how to like be, a, be like a better person when we grow up as well. We're also going to teach us discipline as well. So it gave me an opportunity to join the basketball team only in second grade. So what I learned of uh, how to be a good person, help others, help clean up, help um. Help teachers, don't be bad in school, don't do anything to get in trouble. In order for you to pass all your grades, do all that stuff and accomplish your goals in life, you need to follow those exact rules. I learned that is not to get mad of anything, just try to calm down if you're mad, breathe in and breathe out, and just try to be calm. But one of the things, if I'm triggered, I just breathe in and breathe out and try to hold my anger in. Cool. Instead of letting it out. To not think about me, it's just to think about others, including me, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Don't get triggered, just try to talk to them and try to um, tell them to calm down. We're having a lot of fun together. We also like won't make each other feel lonely, like we're all family together. We work, do everything we need to do in school, and we might do it. We might, we might accomplish it. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flown, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Because of consequential thinking, we're not thinking, we're just going, fam. Keeping the momentum going, we've got our third cohort of Boys to Men chapters. Please welcome PS157.
PS161. PS179. MSHS 223. MS-224 and PS-277 Representing the Boys to Men chapter at PS-25, we've got Braden Banda speaking about citizenship. My name is Brayden Bando. I'm a fifth grade student in Mr. Santos' class at PS25, and today I have the honor to represent the PS25 Boys to Men chapter. We are proud and honored to work under our guiding principle of citizenship. We lead our work by honesty, compassion, respect, responsibility, and courage. Our focus is to help our community and make our neighborhood a better place for all. We represent the best of the American spirit by speaking up and helping out others. And we were proud to play a part in our own way through our work in Boys to Men. And as President Obama once said, the only way this country lives up to its deals is if you reach your full potential. And we promise today to reach our full potential for ourselves, our family, our community, and our country. Thank you for everybody for your attention and we look forward to a very exciting year rounding out the community school district seven boys to men chapters we've got ms 296 ms 298 MS 343 PS 359 PS 369 IS 584 With support from the boys at PS 277 and MS 296, this is our next student speaker on scholarship, Mr. Diego Gonzalez, representing MS 298. Good afternoon. I am Diego Gonzalez. It is my pleasure to be here today speaking about the guiding principles of scholarship. Scholarship refers to academic excellence or learning of a higher level. Academic excellence is part of our history and contributes to the world. We stand on the shoulders of intellectual greats such as W.E.B. Du Bois, Benjamin, Benjamin Banker, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and Caesar Shabs. But before I present more on scholarship, we need to understand who we are so that we can attain a high level of learning. We have to realize how valuable we are and that we come from greatness. Please watch this short video of boys and men scholars recognizing their greatness. I am powerful. I am a future entrepreneur. I am a global citizen. I am knowledgeable. I am strong. I am a future college graduate. I am an advocate. I am the future. Thank you to the Boys to Men scholars that participated in that video. What does it mean to ex ex exemplify scholarship? It means challenging ourselves to persevere, striving for excellence, and cultivating our intellectual interests. These are the characteristics that Boys to Men will be instilling 
in us so that we may rise to any challenge that comes our way. Some of the scholarship activities that Boys to Men will be participating in this year include virtual college visits, college fairs, and financial literacy workshops. And this is just the beginning. There are more activities planned for the future. Representing PS43, Community School District 7 is proud to present our next student speaker, Mustafa Al-Omari. Hello everyone, my name is Mustafa Al-Omari. On behalf of our Boys to Men chapter at PS43, I would like to thank everyone for giving us the opportunity to be part of this elite club for young men. Our guiding principle at PS43 is humanity over honor. As Nelson Mandela once said, the first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have never not changed yourself. Great peacemakers are all people of integrity, of honesty, but humility. We at PS43 play to demonstrate integrity, treat others with respect, and impress humility over honor. Thank you. We look forward to a successful year. We hope that you've enjoyed today's Boys to Men presentation brought to you by Community School District 7 and the My Brother's Keeper Family Challenge Grant. To our facilitators, the passionate team on the front lines working to ensure that our young brown and black boys of color are presented with engaging opportunities that elevate their minds, empower them on a daily basis to reach beyond the limitations that others would like to place on them, we salute you. To our students, families, principals, assistant principals, teachers, DOE staff, and everyone who was a part of making this production come to life, we want to say a heartfelt thank you. To Superintendent Rafael Alvarez and Deputy Superintendent Dr. Frank Hernandez, we want you to know that we appreciate your support and your continued push to ensure that equity and moral purpose remain at the forefront of all we do for our South Bronx community. Greetings, I'm Dr. Frank Hernandez, the proud Deputy Superintendent of District 7. First, it is an honor and privilege to be here with you all today. I hope you all enjoyed the celebration, inspiration, and motivation of our young brothers as part of our inaugural District 7 Boys to Men Initiative and my Brother's Keeper program. I'm in the company of greatness. I believe it and you should too. Preparation for your destiny begins today. And each day you make strides towards defining your legacy. Now mama said it won't be easy. However, your success never comes easy without hard work, sacrifices, and a dynamic team to support you each and every step of the way. As a Puerto Rican and Afro-Latino from the South Bronx, I am my brother's keeper. From Friendly Avenue to Jackson Avenue and our great New York City public schools, there is so much that I'm in proud of. Despite the everyday challenges of growing up in the South Bronx, there is so much culture, heritage, and history in the Bronx to love, embrace, and be very proud of. Don't believe me? Ask Swiss Beats, Fat Joe, Big Pun, Eric Holder, Colin Powell, Saquon Barkley, Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, Theodore Roosevelt, and Cuba Gooding Jr., to name a few, who were all born right here in the Bronx. But as I mentioned earlier, there are supports to guide you. And as your deputy superintendent, it is my promise to do just that. The guiding principles of boys to men, leadership, 
scholarship, citizenship, and character will give you the tools and resources you need to succeed in school and in life. Therefore, you can become the best person you possibly can in every way. As Dr. King once said, we must remember that intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character is the goal of education. We hope you will take these principles with you on your legacy journey. Dreaming big, going boldly, courageously, and confidently, and remembering that you are your brother's keeper, setting the path towards success for others. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our District 7 Boys to Men team and our Boys to Men facilitators for creating pathways that support greater life and educational opportunities for our male youth. Thank you to our leaders and our families for your commitment and unyielding support. Also, a special thanks to Michael Blake and Marco Solis for the gift of your words, time, and inspiration. Lastly, I'd like to share a quote from President Obama. My brother's keeper is about helping more of our young people stay on track, providing the support they need to think more broadly about their future, building on what works when it works in those critical life-changing moments. So to all the adults joining us today, as you stare into the eyes of our great young men, scholars, leaders, activists, and stars, Remember that it takes a village. They need our unyielding support, encouragement, and motivation because we are our brother's keeper. My brothers, your destiny lies in the power of your thoughts and actions. So dream big, my brothers. Thank you. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge to live a life of self-determination. I pledge to embody integrity, honor, and self-respect. I promise to persevere in the face of adversity. I pledge to pursue all opportunities present to me and demonstrate my full capacity to achieve. I pledge that I will rebound after good year and never let anyone limit my promise. I promise. I promise. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge to live a life of self-determination. I pledge to embody integrity, honor, and self-respect. I promise to persevere in the face of adversity. I pledge to pursue all opportunities presented to me and demonstrate my full capacity to achieve. I pledge that I will rebound after failure and never let anyone limit my promise. I pledge to live a life of self-determination. I pledge to embody integrity, honor, and self-respect. I promise to persevere in the face of adversity. I pledge to pursue all opportunities presented to me and demonstrate my full capacity for Jesus. I pledge that I will be bound by the failure and never let anyone make my promise. Boss, being a real soldier, you already know. Every day we wake up, it's a battle between doing what's right and what's wrong. 
Yes. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, yeah, we on our journey, man. Living off experience, so you definitely know we learning, fam. Boys and men, boys and men, we're empowered and we're flowing, man. Because of consequential thinking, we're not sinking, we're just growing, fam. Boys and men, we like an elevator, elevator, so we bless with favor. What we cooking up, you can smell the flavor. And our vision sharp like a missile laser So we asking questions like investigators Leave them gas with no respirators We don't try to stop, we on our best behavior So we gon' keep it clean like a best You'll behaviors. only get your education Through hard work and dedication Meditation, setting goals And definitely some destination It's time for your elevation You studied and display patience You're leading to the top Got no time for no hesitation So we gon' add while they subtracting Like multiplying with fractions We ordered our operations Now we're ready for action Boys and men, boys and men Yeah, we fly, we turn it up Boys and men, boys and men, yeah we hot, we burning up now We're praying for a smooth transition, no time for crashing now Heading all the way to the top to get our cap and gown Put the Bronx right on our back, no time for dropping